Ravens flock, what's up? Week 16, part two, Ravens roundup. It's Coach Evans here. I'm going to go to the defensive side of the ball this time because I showed the offense a lot of love, but this time I'm going to show some love to the defense. And, and Peanut here was uh, probably the defensive player of the game, in my opinion, with nine tackles, uh, two sacks, and, and a forced fumble that led to the Tavon Young um, touchdown return, fumble recovery touchdown return. So let's jump right into it. I got nine plays I picked out. Let's get right into it. Again, before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, comment so I get to you as soon as possible. With them. First play of the game, uh, we all know what happened in the first play of the game. We had an interception. If you look up top, this is the matchup we're looking at. Um, Brandon Carr, see what happens. The straight go route by the receiver. And what Brandon does is he he runs him and pins him to the sideline initially. That's why they are. He's pinning him to the sideline and he can can use the sideline as an extra defender. So technically it's two on one up there. It's Brandon Carr on the sideline versus the uh, receiver. Now here Brandon's in a bad position. He trips a little bit and lets the receiver get past him because he doesn't find him behind his back. Now the good part about it, this ball was underthrown a little bit. And Brandon has his head turned around and he never loses sight of the ball and just takes it from the defender. Both of them really catch it, but Brandon takes it from him as soon as he gets his hand on it. That starts the uh, defensive momentum. That starts momentum in the game. And to me, the game was almost over with right then because we went down with a lot of momentum and got an extra uh, possession. Foul play two. It's still the same play. I'm sorry. Look, you see Brandon still in position with his head around. Both go up. And by now, Brandon is taking it from the receiver. Comes down in bounds. I think he gets an elbow down in bounds. This is play two. We'll get a sack right here. Now, right here, it looks like we're sending everybody and playing cover one. All right, this turn right here kind of tries to give it away to the fact that this may be some kind of zone, but they might just be playing games also. And you see Weddle is about to start getting out. Now still, Weddle sends him back to the middle of the field, so now they're playing cover one, and Weddle's what we call a rover. He really has no responsibility, but anything that comes across the middle of the field, he's going to jump it. And Tony Jefferson is your deep safety. Everybody else is man to man. And as you can see, even though he turned kind of looking zonish, he's still man to man here. And what you don't see is how good the coverage was. We get a sack up front. Watch Peanut right here. Comes through pretty much untouched until the, the running back steps up. And he just drives him. Just bull rushes the running back. You get a better view of it from the back. A, a horrible job by the running back of picking up a blitz or two. Here's Tillman. I'm not a Tillman. Peanut right here. Now, right now, he's just going for power. Here it is. Bull rush. Terrible job by the running back. But great job by Peanut. Play three. Got a zone type look. It's uh, third and long. Maybe about 20-ish or whatnot. We got Four, four linemen, and everybody's dropping back. Now, it's supposed to be a screen. It's supposed to be a screen. But because of Suggs, watch Suggs. Watch how he plays it. He sees the back coming out and instantly stops running, stops blitzing, stops rushing. And now we got, I think this is this is Judon or Smith coming right here. Boom. All right, our next play. Second and 16. Deep in their territory. Pre-snap. Looks like we're playing cover one again. Or maybe even cover three with this turn of the defender. But you never know until after the ball snap. Got one high safety. Are they all backing out of there? So now that turns into cover three. Look at it. Got a deep guy here. Uh, Jefferson's deep in the middle. And Carr's going to be deep on this side. Uh, he's he's walling this guy. Then probably going to get to the flats. He's playing a hook curl. We got a hook curl player here. How many we got rushing? Let's see. One, two, we got five rushing. 
So we gave up a flat defender to send a rusher. Gave up this this flat defender over here to send a rusher. I think that's Irving that gets in there and gets the sack. Let's see it from the back. When you cover the guys and pass rushers can get off, get after it. Here's Irving right here. Stunt. Peanut pushes the pushes the uh, guard and takes him. And now it's up to the running back to block Urban. Now you have a running back trying to block a D lineman, which should not happen. There it is. Watch the bull rush again by Urban. Oh, they took advantage of Gordon. I think that's Gordon back there playing running back. They took advantage of him. Ran a stunt. This is something I've never seen before. Ran a stunt with the linebacker and a, a defensive tackle. It's a good job of game planning right there. It's a good job of game planning. Our next play. Look at the situation again. Second and six. We're in the fourth quarter round. We're up 16 to 10. Again, we got pretty much everybody by the line of scrimmage except for one guy. Looking like a, a cover one, maybe a cover three. Let's see after the snap what happens. Now we got two guys bagging up. So it's probably cover three here. But now we got a cover three. We got a deep guy here. Weddle's getting deep. We got a deep guy here. He's coming down to take this flat just in case something pops out. So it's cover three. Three deep, three under. All right. All that's covered because of the spacing of the Chargers. With them being so tightly wrapped and not having a receiver way down here, the Ravens were able to cover all this with these guys. And so all this is pretty much covered. You can throw this crossing route. He jumped that. You can throw behind him. Uh, he can either tip it here or he may make the tackle. Got a deep route covered, and whatever deep route is going on here is covered. So D Lyman got a chance to get after it again. And they do. Get Rivers for the sack. The front end is definitely working with the back end on, on this play. Well, on all these plays, really. The, the DBs are covering guys, and D Lyman can get sacks. Again, look at your running back. The Chargers running back were exposed in this one. Here, here, here's Peanut, because who's going to get the sack? And uh, Gordon is supposed to pick him up in his A gap. Watch what happens. He just missed it. Like he didn't want it anymore. And another sack for Peanut. Gordon did a horrible job of pass pro in this game. Horrible. But we'll take it. Third and five here. Fourth quarter, five minutes left. They're on the two, they're on the 30, 29 yard line. So now we got cover three again. Got all the guys are covered. You got that's covered. Uh, these two guys are too close, so one guy's covering them, and you got two guys down here. Get your pass rushers time to get out the quarterback again. Front end and back end working together. Oh yeah, this is the rock bottom. Philip Rivers complained about. <laughs> I instantly thought of the rock uh, when he did this. Good move. Let's, let's go back and focus on it. Here's a sacker right here. I think this is Judon. Or maybe that's, no, that's the Darius. That's the Darius. Boom. Slap that. He tried, The old lineman tries to punch right here. He slaps the wrist and then comes with a, with a rip right through. And now he's dipping the shoulder. Now he got the shoulder by. It's all over. Rock bottom. Boom. There we go. Don't complain. Don't complain. Don't complain. Just got beat. Your old lineman got beat. It wasn't y'all day that day. Next play. Still there down to 29. Hands off to Gordon. That's not Gordon. That's the backup. That's the backup. But what I do is I want to see, I want to show you how much our defense swarms on this one. Look at that. As soon as he gets the handoff, you got two guys in the backfield making him adjust. Now he gets through that. Got another guy coming right here. He gets through that, and you got a fourth guy that comes up and actually makes the tackle. The back view will give you a, a better angle of what's going on. That's Jefferson with the final tackle. Win right, Urban wins right here on this tackle. Wins easily. It's by the guy already. Suggs, look how low Suggs is. The low man wins the football. 
So now both of those guys are in the backfield already with Peanut controlling his gap. Watch what Peanut does this, to this goal. Just watch. Here's Peanut. Here's the goal. Watch it. Bam. A linebacker not supposed to do that to a goal. But look at it. He's on his back one more time. Bam. Then tries to make the tackle. Even though he slips out of it, Tony Jefferson runs the alley like a safety should. Here's Tony Jefferson up here. Watch him run the alley and, and clean this up. Right there at the line of scrimmage. Good job of holding on. Great job of team defense right there. Fourth quarter, 255 left. This is our fumble. Let's 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 go back to the beginning. This is our fumble. All right, you got Gates right here. You got off um, receive off the ball. You got another guy in motion. We're looking like we're in a one, maybe a two shell because Weddle's coming out of there. We won't be able to tell until the ball is snapped. Okay, we're stealing that cover three again with Jefferson coming down, taking the flat. This must have been a good look for us because we did it a lot in this game, especially out of these nine players I got or eight players I got. I've seen it three times. But Gates gets open across the middle on a crossing route. Catches the ball. Now, here, at this point, in Gates' mind, he's down. I'm just going to fall down. This is Peanut right here. He comes in with the, the original Peanuts plan and punches the ball out the last second. Boom. Ball out. Tavon's Johnny on the spot. And it's a foot race. But he easily wins. And that sends us to first place in the AFC North. With a victory over the Chargers. Here's the back view of it. Gates with the crosser. Going down. Punch it out. There we go. Tavon to the house. Again, that sends us to first place in the AFC North. With, I think, uh, Peanut Tillman being... Not Peanut Tillman. Why I call him Peanut Tillman? Peanut being the, the AFC player of the week in my eyes. Nine tackles. Uh, two sacks. And a forced fumble that led to a touchdown. Hey, guys, it's week 16, part two, Ravens Roundup. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I appreciate everybody for subscribing so far. We're up to 700 and counting. Let's go, Ravens.